Good people, how are you guys doing? Welcome back again to my channel. My name is Lavin Uwiti and guys, thank you for the support that you have been showing me in my last video. I appreciate everything that guys you have been doing to me and guys, today, this is the last day we are going to celebrate the late Catherine, that is the heart of Africa. I have candles here. Today is candle lighting. It is my first time to do this. I've never done this before. So I hope everything is going to be well. And my message to the family of the late Catherine, may God comfort you guys. It is well it shall be well yeah and to Catherine may God uh, rest uh, rest your soul in peace we will meet again when the right time comes we are so sad but at the same time as human we we are just celebrating your life because you are a great person I've never met you in person but um, I've been watching your videos you are just a jovial person and bubbly and uh, you you are just your arms were just wide open to everybody I never um, watched any of your videos when you are sad you are just happy and I know you you lived so well on this earth so may your soul rest in peace uh, mom Catherine we love you so much and that is the reason why today we are celebrating you so guys this is the place that we are doing the candle lighting yeah this is the place that we are doing the candle lighting yeah, people. We are so many. We are all content creators trying to give our late mom um, her last respect. So guys, we are here with Paris. Yeah. Paris, introduce yourself to my people. Yeah, so hello guys. My name is Paris. The name of my YouTube channel is I am Paris and uh, we are here to give uh, our respect, our honors to our late mom and her sister. That is Lady Kathleen. And uh, I'm trying to put it in a way that you guys can see. Yeah, so these are the sisters that we are here to honor. Because uh, Lady Kathleen was, was one of us during the party. She was here with us. She was like a mom to us. She was mentoring us and uh, she was one of the best. And uh, so she passed and we are just here to honor her. Uh, yeah. And what message can you give to the family? All I can say for the family, uh, let's pray for them to be strong at these hard trying, trying times because it's a very difficult moment for them, I know. Um, and this is for the first time, this is the time that I'm waiting myself in such a situation. And all I can pray, all I can wish for them is just praying to God to give them strength to be able to go through this. Uh, what message can you give Catherine now? Because they say even the dead listens. All I say, mom, you are like a mom to me. For the few times that we interacted, you were listening to me. You listened to me like a daughter. You advised me like a daughter. Thank you so much for the very short while that I knew you. It was like I've known you for eternity. That's why, like, even till now, I'm still in disbelief. But what, like, God knows, as and as the Bible says, God comes and plants the best fruit. So. Yeah, thank you so much, Mom, for being with me for the short time that we knew each other. It was the best. Yeah, it was the best. Uh, you are so close to Mom, yeah. and I know you are also affected. Yeah. And to me, because me, I didn't get the chance to meet her face to face, mm. but I used to watch her videos, and she was just bubbly, mm. uh, jovial. She was just her mom, and uh, arms were wide open for everyone. Yeah. And uh, to message to you that may God comfort you also, and to the family, may God comfort you in this uh, difficult time. Yeah. Take heart, and it shall be well. Thank you so much. Uh, to mom, rest in peace. Yeah. We loved you, but God loved you more. Yeah. Yeah, guys. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> she was one of us, that is what I can say, and uh, I just think we can start the program right now. To be honest, I've never done candle lighting, but I just saw some.
Do it. Are you there? I think you're doing like you're better than the writing. You can spend all the time. It's the way it's done. And also the way we can do it, mm. like what, how you are saying we can, we come with your candle mm -hmm. because we don't have flowers. Yeah. Yeah. We yeah. just put it, yeah. put it there, okay. and then uh, you don't have to say anything mm -hmm. out. Mm -hmm. Just take a second, you pay the respect, and then you do it. Okay. Another person comes and puts the, the candle. Okay. okay. Yes. Uh, uh, so we just place our candle. We say something to our late mom and our sister. Then you move give space for the other person, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I think both you can start for that. Okay. Yeah. Should you say something in silence or in public? Silence. In silence. Okay. I don't even have to replace this candle. Just place it in. Yeah. Okay. How about I don't spoil the... Just make sure. Oh my God, I hope it doesn't. You have, to burn down you have to, to burn the the bottom part first. Okay. Using, bottom. Burn it. Okay. Using another candle. Mm -hmm. This will take time. So Kathleen is the heart of Africa spirit. I know most of us know her by that name. Kathleen, that is her name, and her sister, she was called Frida. So here is what I can read. This I was sent by the sister. It is with extremely heavy hearts that we share the devastating news of the double tragedy of the death of Kathleen K or Kathy Murugu on December 27th. 27th, 2023, and our sister Frida Murugu on December 29th, 2023, in Kenya. Kay was based in Washington, D.C., USA, and is in the loving is the loving mother of Gwendolyn, the late Bobby, and Makena Murugu, all in U.S. Frida was based in Kenya and is in the loving and is the loving mother to Roy, Senia, Ellie, all all of them are in Kenya and Zoe in Australia. Kay and Frida are sisters to Andrew Murugu in Kenya, late Alfred Murugu, Edith Murugu, Kenya, Juliet Murugu, Kenya, Jen, Jen Ann and Hiram Kiragu in US, Jen Karo and Albert Sasu in US, and Yvonne Flair Murugu in US. They also had several nieces and nephews among us, many other relatives. So that is all uh, we can read. And as we prepare to give Kay and Frida an honorable sense of the family covets your prayers and financial support at this difficult time. And uh, all I can say is thank you guys so much for coming to be to give our late mom, that is Lady Kathleen and our sister Frida Murugu, the last. This is not the last because the barrio is yet to be there. When the day. Reminder that one day we're going to leave this world. But also. The question is when you're still alive, how many people can you support? How honest can you be? And when it's your last day, will you be like a soul that is lost or goes to God, you know? But I want to thank you all for coming, for showing love and support. Madame, I call her Madame, she was one of us. And I'm told she died with a bracelet written marrow on her, her wrist. 
that's how much she believed in us and YouTube and everything. And uh, yeah, we are very sorry and we send our condolences to the, the family, entire family. She has daughters in the US, the entire family. Again, this came as a double uh, tragedy. That means, or in this case, the sister also passed on in the process of receiving the news uh, or viewing, the, viewing her body. So it's sad. But at the same time, we thank God for the gift of life. And I'll all ask you guys to be always honest when you do your stuff because when our day comes you'll be a happy man or woman because you'll not be worried about anything anyway thank you so much yeah thank you for coming this just reminds us that one day it will be like this we can't run away from death but we have to live life beyond thinking of death yeah but it's just part of our life yes to the family uh, thank you also uh, for you know letting your own daughters visit us in our village and I think for me she was happy in her last uh, month here she celebrated she was always very smiley I think that's how God planned her last month or last few months on earth all right thank you so much